News 18, weather from where you live. Well, tonight we're headed back to 1951. We had a squall line blast through the area, mainly damaging straight line winds, but it did produce two tornadoes, an F2 uh, right in the south side of Kokomo and also another one near Waynetown. And inflation adjusted uh, upwards of a half a million in damage. There is the squall line depicted here on an early map here from the National Weather Service. This is at 1 a.m. on July 9th as the line of storms was racing through the area. And these are the two tornadoes. There's the F1 near Waynetown and also that F2 that caused the damage on the south side of Kokomo. Now tonight it's pretty tranquil. We had a little short wave skim by today and it's still kind of on our backside tonight. It's just a little cold pocket as you move up in the atmosphere. It's about right here. It popped a few little spotty showers today, but that combined with a little lake breeze front moving southward, you can see it kind of hung up here, and it continues to pop at least a few isolated showers in our northeast. We've had a couple through the day. We still have a couple here south of Logansport and also one near Judson. These will fade away shortly. Clouds will break up overnight. Could even be some patchy fog with mid and upper 50s tomorrow morning. Headed for a high tomorrow of 81 after 77 around lunchtime and back to 66 by 11 tomorrow night. Nice and dry tomorrow and Friday, but some periodic showers and storms for the weekend and higher humidity. After mid and upper 50s in the morning, 81 tomorrow Lafayette, 82 Romney, 80 at Monticello and 80 at Peru, 83 at Covington. A little warmer Friday, low to mid 80, slightly higher humidity with an 84 at Lafayette and Romney. Patches of fog here and there as the as any cloudiness tends to burn off tonight, but tomorrow the clouds bubble up tomorrow uh, with mostly sunny skies, though, all things considered. Tomorrow night it's mostly clear again, but Friday high and mid-level clouds increase from the west. So mostly sunny part of the day becoming partly to mostly cloudy late. That is about four in the afternoon and we're solid overcast by early Saturday morning as a warm front lifts northward. I think we'll have uh, a band or a little cluster of some scattered showers and storms uh, late, late Friday night, early Saturday morning. That pushes east, then it's partly cloudy, breezy, warm and humid. Severe weather erupts west of here and some of that could come in Saturday late afternoon evening in a weakening form, but Sunday after a few morning showers and storms, more storms could form in the afternoon and a severe weather threat may develop in the afternoon and evening before it shifts south on Monday. And then it cools off after, you know, after a steamy weekend, 80 Tuesday, 78 Wednesday, still nice next Thursday, but then it will heat up. As a matter of fact, by not this weekend, but the next weekend, we could be up around 90, 92 degrees with some scattered storms. So nice and comfortable now, kind of hot for the weekend, cools off again, and then it's what could be some low 90s on the way. I just love this. I mean, if this. If